Hello guys, welcome to another episode of me watching YouTube music videos for the first time for songs I have not heard. I say we get right into it. We are starting off with The Unforgettable Fire. I did not see those drums coming in. <laughs> are giving me goosebumps. Getting so lost in this instrumentation. Get over these swells. Oh my goodness.
You know, what I enjoyed about that song the most was how unpredictable it was. It all started when the drums came in. They completely took me by surprise. I also didn't expect it to be as upbeat as it was based on the first few seconds. So the tempo also caught me off guard. And then the strings coming in towards the end. I'm just saying, sonically speaking, the unforgettable fire is unforgettable. I also loved how far back in the mix Bono's vocal was, especially during the choruses, because it, in my opinion, made his voice feel like more of an instrument. And I think that's what they were going for. Especially given the lyrics, you know. I feel like they painted a very vivid picture of a destructive person warning a loved one, but at the same time begging that person not to leave. Oh, and how could I forget the bass? The bass on that track was incredible as well. All right, next up we have Who's Gonna Ride Your Wild Horses? Ouch. <laughs> also, ouch. I'm also loving the drums on this track. Really loving this chorus. It's the melody. I'm getting a bit dizzy. Oh, 
Ugh, this range is ridiculous. And he never fails to remind me. You know, funnily enough, that track seemed like the perfect follow-up to the Unforgettable Fire, lyrically speaking. <laughs> or the perfect response, I should say. Once again, we're dealing with the destructive person, but this is from the other perspective. Basically saying, you're destructive, you're trying to let me go, but I don't want to go, because I love the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Sonically, I did enjoy the chorus the most. That was my favorite part of the song. But overall, it wasn't my favorite. Still a solid track, though. All right, next up we have Vertigo. All right. Oh my word, this music video though. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I feel high right now. Well, that was the trippiest music video I've ever seen from them. <laughs> but it did not distract me from appreciating the song, which was certainly a departure from everything else I've heard from them so far. Granted, I still have a lot more of their songs to hear, but that was a standout moment. <laughs> and on my initial listen, that guitar riff has to be my favorite part of the song. I'm going to have to give it a few more listens to fully appreciate it but that was cool. <laughs> That's about all I could say right now. I'm still just shocked. All right, lastly, we have The Fly. Oh, 
I love the contrast between those two vocals that just came in. bass on this track is insane as well. This track is dark and I love it. Okay, huh, I don't even know what to make of the fly, but it was really cool. <laughs> in all seriousness, it felt like a four minute long stream of consciousness, but in a theatrical way. Like, I don't know if this will make sense, but it felt to me like he was playing a character of some sort. Although I guess the leather jacket with no shirt underneath and large sunglasses are <laughs> also driving me to that conclusion. That track was really weird, and I mean that as a compliment. Also, one of my favorite guitar solos I've heard in a while. The distortion, the glitchiness of it all. I just love that I'm getting to see so many different sides of them as a band. That's why I love doing these episodes of four videos with no context given. And why I choose the videos at random. My favorite music video from this group of four would have to be The Fly. And my favorite songs from this group of four would have to be The Unforgettable Fire and The Fly. I connected with those two the most. And now I am itching for more live performances. So stay tuned for those. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.